Thank you for joining us on the Survival Circle. This should be a quick video, but it is really important, so stick with me. One of the most common items of preparation for many people is chlorine bleach. It's a disinfectant, and it can be used for purifying water from a questionable source. Uh, what m many may not know is that chlorine bleach loses its effectiveness pretty fast. As quickly as three months after purchase, your bleach can start losing its effectiveness. The rate of degrade will depend on the condition in which it's stored and uh, other factors, but after just six months, it may be on its way out. After nine months, it may not be potent enough to do the trick. If, like most people, some of your stores are kept aside and you have a bottle of bleach just sitting there waiting for its day to shine, its day is probably long gone. If you want to depend on your bleach to be effective when the day comes, use it as a normal part of your laundry routine. Just remember not to get the special scented bleach because those have chemicals that, that are added to them to make that scent, and they may or may not be safe to consume. So get the stuff with no scent and use it in your rotation routine. The good news is that there are alternatives. There are special chlorine purification products made specifically for drinking water. Chlorine dioxide can be used for purification and it's formulated to have less of an aftertaste than other purification products. In addition to other products, you can find chlorine dioxide in Aquamira water treatment drops and in um, potable aqua water treatment tablets. Now, both have a four-year lifespan and that's quite a bonus. Now, I've not used these products for water purification, so I can't recommend them, but this is a notice that they are available, and where I've seen them reviewed, the, re the reviews have been favorable. Now, finally, you could use iodine. A 2% tincture of iodine can be used to purify water, and it's also handy to have in your first aid kit. Iodine itself does not expire, it's a chemical element, but in the form most commonly available as 2% tincture, the iodine is suspended in ethanol, and the ethanol can evaporate over time, leading to a stronger potency than may be expected. So remember, I'm not a medical professional. Uh, a very high concentration of iodine can be toxic. While I don't think there's enough iodine in a first aid sized bottle to be toxic, I could be wrong. Do your own research, and if you're, con if you're concerned about that, and come to your own conclusions. But here, um, I'm presenting the uh, recommended amount of bleach and iodine for purification so that you'll have the alternatives available. And I'll give you just a second here. Well, you can pause the video, so I won't give you a second. I'll just say thank you for joining me for this uh, installment of the Survival Circle. Thanks.